Welcome to Global Travel and History Guide. This video is about historical facts of interesting places in Death Valley. Death Valley, located in Eastern California and part of Nevada, is a mesmerizing desert region known for its extreme temperatures and stunning natural landscapes. So let's know, what is the historical background of these places? Towards the end of the 1840, when gold was discovered in California, the nearby mountains of Death Valley also yielded a compound of gold, silver, and borax. This made the region quite significant during those days. In fact, small settlements built up in Death Valley and its vicinity. A plant called Harmony Borax Works was established, where borax was processed, and many workers were employed there. Even today, the mule wagon used by this company are kept as memorabilia in Death Valley. As the mines for gold, silver, and other minerals started to run out, these settlements gradually became deserted. However, the remains of these settlements can still be found in Death Valley. There is a cemetery here as well. The cemetery in Death was in use from the 1900 to 1911. It served as the burial place for individuals who died in the mining towns that built up temporarily. Near 300 individuals are buried there. In 1967, an American actress and dancer named Marta Beckett's car broke down near Death Valley. Her car was fine after some time. But while wandering around, she ended up at a desolate and eerie-looking building near Death Valley. This building was constructed in 1925 for miners to rest, eat, and find shelter. Marta Under took the restoration of this building. She adorned it with beautiful painting, converted into a hotel, established a theater, and even performed dances in the theater herself. Although there seemed to be no audience coming, Marta Brett had new life into this decaying structure. Today, thousands of tourists come to Death Valley to tour this opera house. Many people also believe that ghosts reside in this building. In 1980, a group of artists from Belgium arrived in the area with the idea of installing a sculptures. In 1984, white peculiar sculptures were indeed installed in this desert area. These strange sculptures are still visible in the desert today. There is also a 2,000-foot-long tunnel here. This was completed by a person named William Schmidt, without any significant tools, solely using his hand for 38 years, in year 1938. Some say that he intended to connect this desert with the main road, or perhaps he was in search of a treasure. Whether he found any treasure, only William himself could tell. However, he has already passed away in 1954. In 1884, a 12-year-old boy named Walter Scott ran away from his family in Utah and went to this brother in Nevada. However, after some time, when Scott became financially strong, he developed an interest in the gold mines of California. He also visited Death Valley and unknowingly found something appealing about this dry and barren area that he decided to settle here. In 1922, he constructed a two-story mansion for himself in this location. He used to frequently stay here. Scott passed away in 1954, but this mansion is still famous by the name Scotty's Castle. In Death Valley today, there is a superb hotel built for tourists that meets modern standards. Additionally, there are many enchanting and beautiful landscapes in the area. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel and hit bell icon to get updates.